This is the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk. Bearcats back in the blocks Friday night. Rumble ponies on the diamond for a pair, and five black bears have new homes. This is the sports desk. Eric Holt, Emily McKay, both still chasing down their dreams of donning the red, white, and blue this summer in Paris. The Bearcat alums both will be back on the track Friday night at the Team USA track and field qualifiers. Eric Holt hits the track at 9.39 p.m. for the men's 800-meter semis. Holt finished 23rd out of 26 racers to qualify for the semis in those opening round heats. He needs to finish in the top two of his race tonight or have one of the next three fastest times. Makai is racing in the first of two women's 1,500-meter semifinal heats. Those are set to start at 8.53 p.m. Makai finished with the second fastest time overall in the opening round. She spoke with 12 Sports between, before heading out to Oregon about what having two BU alums might mean to the Southern Tier. To have two Binghamton alum at the Olympics would just be so incredible. It would be huge. And I think it's possible. It would be amazing and just so incredibly special. Uh, Eric and I did overlap for a year or two at Binghamton. And I think he does have a serious shot to make this team also. So again, just real quick, we'll take a look. Emily Mackay racing tonight in the women's 1500 meter semis. First heat starting at 8.53 p.m. Eric Holt in heat number three for the men's 800 meter semis. The first of those races to start at 9.39 p.m. The Rumble Ponies in afternoon action this Friday as Binghamton and Portland will play two today, making up Wednesday night's rain out. Rumble Ponies picked up the team's first win of the second half on Thursday, trying to keep pace with the rest of the Eastern League. This one just wrapping up with the Ponies being blanked in the opener. Ponies losing by a pair as Portland scored both in the second and third innings. Binghamton with eight runners left on base in the game. Ponies 0 for 5 with runners in scoring position. Sea Dogs with the win seven, in 7 to start the two-game set on Friday. And finally, it wasn't just Bronny James wondering if he would hear his name called on Thursday. The FPHL hosting its expansion draft as the league will be welcoming three new teams to the table next season. The Athens Rock Lobsters, Danville Dashers, and Monroe Moccasins, along with the existing teams that did not make the playoffs, were all on the clock Thursday in the 39-pick draft process. Colin Fitzgerald, the biggest black bear name to be selected on draft day. The three-year pro went 12th overall to the Athens Rock Lobsters. And also wearing a new sweater in 2025 will be rookie defenseman Brody Thornton. He was taking fifth overall by Baton Rouge. Blue Ridge taking a trio of Bearcats, the Bobcats. Taking a trio of Black Bears as the Bobcats picked up rookie forwards Josh Flesher, Justin Samaro, and Andrew Utero. And I promise I'll figure out how to say all of those B's <laughs> in a row before 10 o'clock. All right, well, Zach, seems like a beautiful night for a doubleheader there tonight. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, I'm going to head out right after this, actually. I am going down to Morabito, so I'll be there for Friday. And hopefully we'll pick up a win in the nightcap. All right, sounds good to me. Don't go anywhere. We have one final story right after the break.